Hello guys, this is Tech Genius and today I am going to unbox the Apple iPod Nano 7 generation. So let's uh, have a closer look at its packaging. Let's first remove this protective sleeve which is provided by the company for protection of the case. So this is the Apple iPod Nano 7 generation. The iPod Nano 7 generation comes in a wide variety of colors. So with the white screen we get silver purple, pink, yellow, blue and green color body and with a black screen we get a space gray color body. Let's take a closer look at its packaging. The iPod Nano comes in only one capacity that is 16 GB. This packaging includes an iPod Nano 7 generation, a set of earpods and a lightning to USB cable for charging and syncing your iPod. On the right, of, right side of the packaging it is written iPod Nano. At the bottom we have some product information and the serial number related to the iPod. On the other side we have iPod Nano written again. And on the top, we have a black Apple logo which is color matched to the body of the iPod. If I have a black iPod, I'll get a black Apple logo. And if I buy a, I have a blue iPod, the Apple logo and all these brandings will be in blue color. So let's not wasting time. Let's open this iPod. There is a little tab given here, over here. So let's pull that out. So here is the iPod Nano and its tray. Let's keep it aside for some time. It is, it is written designed by Apple in California. So let's have a look in the inbox contents. Here is some paperwork. It says hello. Let's take a closer look. This is a basic quick start guide which guides us through the buttons and its functions and how to use the iPod this is some product information related to warranty and safety and finally these are the two Apple set of Apple stickers which everyone's wa everyone wants now in the box we get a USB to lightning connector cable to charge and sync your iPod And here is the set of Apple AirPods. Let's have a look at it. So these Apple AirPods are shipped with all iPhone models from iPhone 5 to iPhone 6 Plus. The thing which is missing in these Apple AirPods is the remote and the microphone AirPods shipped with iPods do not have the inline remote and microphone so let's keep all these things aside this is the iPod Nano in its tray Let's peel off this sticker. Actually this is not the screen. It is not on. It is just a display sticker. So let's peel it off. This is the sticker. Let's take a look at the body of the iPod. On the top we can see that there is a sleep wake button just like an iPod touch or an iPhone has 
on the bottom we have a 3.5 mm earphone jack and as we can see that the iPod is as thin as it can be so it is at its, at its thinnest and on its right side we have a lightning connector so that we can charge or sync this iPod a thing which is new here is this black plastic window this window is given for Bluetooth to work through the aluminium metal a unibody aluminium design on the left side we can see there is a volume rocker with a center click just like the Apple iPhone earpods have if you are familiar with them you will get what I am talking about it is used for play pause play and pause function on the front we can see that there is a black screen with a home button so this home button is provided for the first time in an iPod Nano on the back side we have our Apple logo which is polished in the anodized aluminium body and the iPod branding is also polished in the aluminium body so let's boot this for the first time press and hold the start or sleep wake button let's do it it shows an apple logo so let's select the language I'll select English US and then press done so that's all for setting up this device and we are ready to use the iPod Nano 7 generation now uh, this iPod Nano does not support Wi-Fi I mean it does not have Wi-Fi built in it so we have to connect this iPod to a PC or a Mac and load music into it so let's do it by connecting it to a PC so I am done with loading some of music and as this iPod is a touch screen but it is not operating on iOS it uh, runs on its own proprietary software for iPods and because this iPod is not having any inbuilt speakers so we need to use these provided earpods or else we can use Bluetooth to stream the music in a car using Bluetooth or in wireless headphones or speakers through Bluetooth there are various functions over here like music Nike plus fitness app so if you have a Nike plus fitness sensor you can place it in your shoe and track your data fitness data we have podcast I don't have any podcast yet so it is not showing any podcast in photos you can sync photos and view them here it also has radio it is showing no radio signal because to use radio we need to plug in earphones once the earphones are plugged in the iPod will show you some stations you can star them and even play and pause it has a 15 minute of buffer playback and now if you want to go out of any app which is open you just need to swipe right side from the edge or else press home button just like this press the home button now for going to any recent open app just tap the home button for twice and you will be again in the open recent app 
you cannot load any games or anything in this iPod because what you see is actually what you get in settings there are various functions uh, main one main function is Bluetooth by turning on Bluetooth you can connect this iPod to a, your car to stream on car audio or else on Bluetooth speakers or headphones in general settings we have some wallpapers different wallpapers so we can use those you cannot add any photo wallpaper because the screen is very small and company has not provided any option to change your wallpaper so you have to apply those wallpapers which are built in in accessibility you can switch to mono audio or else invert colors so it will invert all the colors so it will be easy for some people to use and now in music app I would like to show you something which is very interesting actually for there are three buttons so that we can increase the volume volume up button we can increase the volume and volume down button we can decrease the volume now the center click works very nice if you tap the center click once it will pause the track or if you ta tap it again it will play a track if you tap it twice it will advance the track and tapping it twice will take your track backward if you tap and hold if you tap and hold you can hear the ongoing track basically this is a very nice product and that's all for the unboxing and hands on if you like the video please like share subscribe and comment and share this video as as much as you can thank you